feel great. I feel like I just want to get out from look at you. I want to stay in the bush. That's how I felt. I just want to spend time in the bush, know how like learn my culture. Yeah, all the stuff. We're going to be sampling water, pretty much, and we're going to be studying the fish. They're checking if there's mercury in the water, mercury in the fish, mercury in the sand. They should give anything has mercury. They made us into groups, and we started doing opening prayer day and night. And they started into groups, boys and girls, and we, we go on, on lakes and we check nets on the other side of the lake, and we catch mostly northern northern pike, white fish, and lake trout. I went to check the fishnet. It was cold, raining, and I was getting wet. They, they brought it back here and put it on this table, and they start cutting it and start like um, weighing it, and they start writing on this piece of paper. So it's like when a tree is cut down, you know how you see all the rings? You can count the age of a fish by looking at the scales. I learned about they have something in their head, a bone that when they turn, like flip over on the water, that they know they're upside down. So those are the, the ear bones. They have these little bones and they float in a little water sack. And when the fish was to turn upside down, the bone would move and then they would, re they would feel it and they would know they were upside down. So that's how a fish knows to stay upright. Paul, the, uh, one of the biologists, he showed us how to cut it, and he, sh he cut it really smooth, and, and this time we, they got us to show the parts of the fish, the swim better, the, the stomach, and they told us that, um, and one thing I never knew about was the heart, it was close, to, it was just close to the mouth, it was like at the chest, and they told us stories about like, if you eat, if you have heart problems, you eat the heart, and if you can't, if you can't, your eye vision isn't good, you can't eat the eye. We call it incurbin, and it's like a trap that we had to send all the way down to the water and grab a lot of dust, and we send a messenger, hits that little steel, and then it just claps, and then grabs a lot of dirt, and then we lift it up slowly, so all the water could drain. And then we grab some, we put it in a little bucket, and we grab a little, we grab a spoon, we grab a little chunk of dirt, and we put it in a jar, then we close it, and then, then they send out to Yanni. We, in addition to testing the fish, we're also going to test the water, and test the water at five or six different locations uh, around the lake. Some on the other side of town, upstream towards Winter Lake, some right close to town because around the town you know there's a winter road and there's a dock and sometimes uh, there might be a little bit of oil or diesel leaking from a boat or maybe leaking from the power plant and that could get into the water so we can detect that by collecting a sample even though we might not see anything in the water and the water looks clean uh, then doing a scientific test we can see learn about things that are in the water that, that we can't see so what do you guys think? Do you think this water uh, is is clean? Yeah. And I think it's clean too. And but why do why do you think it's clean? What do you use to tell you that it's clean? It looks clear. That's good. How does it look? What else? Anything else? It's cold. Does it smell? Doesn't really smell. Just just smells like water. Kind of smells like nothing. What about taste? Tastes like water. Tastes like water. Yeah, so those are the things that we use, you know, when we're on the land. You, you use how it looks, how it smells, how it tastes, and it seems clean. So that's, we believe that it smells clean, and the elders believe that, that the water is clean and it's safe. And so the reason we're doing tests is just to confirm that belief. I love that elders were here because they t tell us great stories. They have so many experiences. They told us, they, they, t they let us do chores that they do in there, because they call water pick up wood. They told us lots of stories about it and they told us that we had to respect it because um, because our creator made it and, and that it was for us to eat. The, the first, there's two different ways there. The, um, the other fish, they cut it they, and some keep the scales on and some don't. 
to like because we eat it and so they some some they just cut off the scales um, to make dry fish and, and on the other they they keep it off. They they showed me how to cut it so I know no no I know how to cut it. I learned that they had very lots of experience of being on the land and and they taught us about their great leaders in the past and that they're still with us and and they told us many stories and very funny stories too and, and on the land. I was happy that the biologists came and scientists because when I grew up, when I grew up, I was good at biology. I'm trained as a scientist, but I know that there are so many other important ways that we know and understand and learn about the environment. And that's it's important to use everyone's knowledge when we are trying to deal with environmental issues like contaminants and climate change. I think it will be hard and easy. Maybe a little bit both. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because I like that water sample is really easy and cutting the fish is really hard. I don't know how you do it. Yeah. They're very, very, very smart in and, and that they make everything new, that they discover new things. And they see it. And I want to be one of them when I grow I like the bush. I want to stay here, sleep here. Yeah. I want to learn more about the bush. Well, it feels kind of hard a little bit being out in the bush, but I like it. Favorite thing about it is doing woods and stuff like that. That's what I like about the bush. They told us not to be sad about it, and, but but I think I'm going to be sad. But at least we had these these great past few days on the land, and it was fun. Um, we played lots of games. I ran around with my friends. And, and when we leave tomorrow after breakfast and pack up our stuff, we're going to have to say goodbye to the land and that's just going to be tragic. <laughs>